I'm attaching you guys to a door handle. Oh my God, I wish I could show you guys this. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day in my life. My name is Jaden. If you are new to my channel, I post vlogs and talk about mental health and other silly things. So, good morning. Welcome. I'm just having a rough morning. Like, I really, I'm not perfect, obviously, and I really tried to, like, be safe, like, do good hygiene, wear my mask. I'm glad I have my mask in here. I thought I forgot it. But I feel like I've tried, like, really hard to be safe in this time, and it's, like, still biting me in the butt. Honestly, like, um, I haven't really talked about this, but my mom had COVID, and my stepdad had COVID, and my grandpa, and then some other family members, and they had all gotten together for Father's Day or something like that, and they all got it, and I wasn't there at the event they were at, um, and when my mom started showing symptoms, I moved out of my house because I live with my mom and my stepdad, so I moved out, and I've been staying with my boyfriend and his roommates, and I haven't had any symptoms. I've been okay to work. Like, I literally moved out of my house um, so that I wouldn't get COVID. And I feel like everybody's gonna get it. And that might be pessimism because I'm being cranky. But I feel like everybody might get some form of it or at least like know somebody very close to them that has it. I will say though, like everybody that I know that's had it has been so different. Like my mom, had the respiratory strain and my stepdad had more of like the GI stuff, you know, the nasty stuff. And they are both fine now, which is good, but obviously they couldn't work. Well, my stepdad's retired, but my mom couldn't work, so that sucked. But yeah, long story short, I'm a little cranky, but I'm gonna get some Panera coffee. I do the free coffee thing. I forgot to ask for cream, so whatever. I'll do that at home, I guess. But yeah, pulling up at the at the Nara to get that. Oh my God, there's a parking spot. I'm just feeling. I feel mean. This driving and vlogging thing's kind of fun. I kind of like it. I like figured out how to set my little tripod up. I'm sitting in my boyfriend's room. Like I said, I'm living here right now because can't go home. So I'm in his room because his other roommate is working from home as well. And he's like in their kitchen at their dining room table. So I don't really have anywhere to do my schoolwork. So I really miss my room and my nice desk. So I'm just literally gonna do uh, my online class. I'm taking microbiology. I'm gonna do some homework for that. guys I just finished my online quizzes for the week and I'm really excited because I only have one week left of my summer class uh, it's not been super challenging but just like kind of a hassle to just like have to do that when like you're supposed to be on summer break and relaxing so my mom texts me and she wanted to go to the pool so I'm gonna go social distance at the pool with mom I'm really excited because this is the first time I've seen my mom in like three weeks now because she had the Rona. Um, she's okay now, but I'm really excited to see her. So we're gonna go to the pool. I got some little snacks. I have my off-brand Kroger brand granola bars, my off-brand Cheez-Its because we're bought on a budget and my free coffee. Okay, we're about to see mom for the first time. Hi, mom. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. I love you. <laughs> love you too. What's that water for? It's my, this is my emergency water jug. For what? I don't know when I don't have any water and I'm really thirsty. I got that jug of water one day after I was at the lake and I literally thought I was gonna like pass out from a heat stroke and my friends were laughing at me because I got that jug of water and two Gatorades. They were like, you're not really gonna drink all that, are you? And I was like, I mean, eventually. So I got like a slushy straw and I was drinking out of a gallon of water with a straw and walking around the gas station and they were laughing at me, so. Okay, mom, you wanna show your new swimsuit? 
My mom got her first swimsuit from Shein. And look at those legs. She looks so good. My mom usually wears a skirt, but she is. Oh, she's going to model. Oh, my God. She's so cute. Come, girl. Put that base in your wall. It's not looking good, folks. It's about to rain. This is my first time being home in three weeks. I've missed my little, my little humble apartment. My mom has sterilized everything. She made it nice and clean for when I came home. OMG, I'm so stupid. Um, I was going to the store with my mom and we were going to get some food and I was like, it's like Tuesday and I have therapy. So I have therapy right now and I had to like rush home. We just got some five guys, looks super classy cause I'm like trying to eat super quick. I like literally have therapy right now. So yay, I love therapy. It honestly gets like, sometimes like it does get a little old like talking about your feelings. <laughs> Oops. Like, I know it's necessary, but I'm like, I don't wanna. I really just wanna take a nap, but I'm gonna do this real quick. Hopefully she doesn't mind if I eat some french fries, cause a girl's gotta eat. I just made a little post on the Instagram about all or nothing thinking. So if you wanna go follow me, it's just Jaden Binge. Love you, thank you. I am by no means a therapist. Oh my God, my hair. But I do kind of want to make a video just talking about like cognitive distortions. I mean, I've talked about it a billion times in therapy. So it's kind of like a broken record, but they're so real. And um, you'd be surprised how often they come up in your brain and how often they appear in your daily life. Like, for example, running late to work and thinking that like you're the most irresponsible person ever like that's catastrophizing like just taking one small event and making it so much more than it is um i find that one is like really common with so many people you don't have to have like a mental illness or anything it's just a thought process that sucks and isn't healthy so let me know if you would like me to have like a whole video talking about that stuff of course like i would do some more research because I'm not a mental health counselor and I don't claim to be, but I just think it's fun to talk about. It's fun to help people learn about them and to teach about them. So let me know. Back at the old second home. <laughs> I swear I live everywhere, a bit here and a bit there. Honestly, the best thing about going home to your that was weird. The best thing about going home to your parents' house is honestly just getting groceries. Then I think I'm just gonna maybe do some homework. Um, I think I'm just gonna get ready to go to work tomorrow and chill, like watch a movie. Really nothing that exciting, so. Hi. I swear I'm not being dramatic when I say I've been trying to watch She's the Man, literally since March, so super excited about this. I'm gonna watch this go to sleep gotta wake up at like seven in the morning to go to work so good night love you